Hi, I'm Miriam Van Dorn. I'm the instructor for the Gallery's Quiet Program, which encourages you to take a moment for yourself, slow down and embrace the gallery as a place for quiet contemplation and rejuvenation. Today, you'll be joining me for a yoga session at home with Craig Goma, filmed from the heart of the Gallery's collection. So welcome. Come to a comfortable cross-legged position on your yoga mat. And then interlace your fingers. Take a breath in, bring your hands underneath your chin, lift through the elbows. As you exhale, press forward round your back, hollow your belly, tuck the chin. Inhale, bring your hands up. And then as you exhale, release and reach your right hand down to the floor for a side bend. Relax the shoulder blades down your back. An option is to keep your head exactly where it is or maybe gently turn and gaze upwards. On your next inhalation, press into your right hand, come up through the center, lifting your arm and exhale into a twist to your left hand side. Inhale, lengthening to the crown of your head. Exhale, slowly turning, taking your time, using your back arm and hand as an anchor. Soften through the shoulders and broaden across your collarbones. And then as you inhale, reach your back arm up and then over and across to your opposite knee. Inhale, lift through the chest. Exhale, pull the elbows wide, hollow the belly, round your upper back. Inhale, coming upright. Keep the cross of your arms. If your shoulders are tight, give yourself a little hug. You might like to try eagle arms. Let the shoulders soften, lift through the fingertips. And if your neck and shoulders are a little tight, you might just like to tilt your head in one direction, just finding that spot where it's a little tight. You might like to move your head to the other side. And then breathing in, unravel the arms, stretch them all the way back. Really pull the fingers back so you feel it tingling across your wrist, stretching your radial nerve. Take a deep breath in here and exhale, float your hands down, roll the shoulders and then change the cross of your legs. Bring your hands back to your heart space and change the interlace of your fingers as well as the cross of your thumbs. I know it feels weird, then you know you are doing it correctly. Take a deep breath in, lift the elbows. Exhale, press forward, round your back. Inhale, bring the arms up. And then exhale, side bend to your left hand side. Softening through the shoulders. Pressing your right sit bone down into the floor. And maybe bring your gaze up. On your next inhalation, press into your left hand, reach your arm up overhead and coming into your twist to your right hand side. And breathing in, lengthen into the crown of your head. Exhale, slowly turn your head. Keep broadening across your collarbones. Keep lengthening into the crown of your head. Soften your gaze. Now on your inhale, lift your right arm all the way up. Bring it over and across to your opposite knee. Deep breath in. Exhale, round your back, hollow the belly. Inhale, coming to your cross arms. Maybe give yourself a beautiful hug or eagle arms. Gently lift through the fingertips. You might like to add a neck stretch or keep your head in a neutral position. Take a nice deep breath in. And stay for the exhale. Inhale, on the river of the arms, stretch the fingers all the way back, squeeze the shoulder blades, and exhale to release. Straighten the legs out to the top of the mat and come around on all fours in your tabletop position. A few cat-cow stretches here. Tuck the toes under, breathe in, let your belly drop, lift through the sit bones, crown of the head. As you exhale, release the feet, round your back into cat, hollowing your belly. Inhaling back into cow. 
exhaling into cat. Coming to a flat back position, tuck the toes under and we'll lift into downward facing dog. So press the hands equally down into the floor, spread the fingers nice and wide. And as you exhale, press one heel down. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, press the other heel down. So you might like to do that a few times. And then relax your head between your arms. And then pausing in your downward facing dog option to bend both knees. Press your chest toward your thighs. Relax the head. And then bring your gaze to the top of your mat. Walk the feet forward to in between your hands. Inhaling, half lift, flat back position. Exhale, fold forward. Do that one more time. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. And then inhale, coming up through reverse swan. Dive up into tall mountain. Reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, swan dive down into your forward fold. Inhaling, half lift. Exhale, place both hands down and then step your right foot back into a lunge position. Anchor your right heel down, lining up your front heel with your back heel. Inhale, come up, warrior two position. So allow your left knee to traction forward. Sink into the hips, draw the arms nice and wide. Bring your gaze over your left fingertips. And then turn the palms facing up. Inhale, straighten the front leg, lift your arms up overhead. And exhale, bring the arms back to a T, bend into your front knee. And again, inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Turn the palms facing down, and then cartwheel the hands down, framing your front foot. Pivot onto the ball of your right foot, take an inhale, lift through the chest, and then exhale, left foot steps back, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward into plank position. So shoulders stack over your wrists. Option to lower your knees down. Take a full breath in and then exhale, hug your elbows into the waist, lower your body down to the floor. Release the feet and then inhale, lift into cobra. Option to come onto your forearms for sphinx position. So press down through the tops of your feet lifting your kneecaps up off the floor. Draw the shoulder blades down your back and lower your gaze. Take another breath in, exhale, release. Slide your hands under the shoulders, lift up and press your hips back into child pose. Forehead rests down to the floor. And inhale, coming back up. Tuck the toes under, lift into downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here. Allow your breathing to slow down. And then lift your right leg up to the sky, option to lower your left knee down. Come into three legged dog. Exhale, hug the knee in and step your right foot next to your right thumb. Inhale into your lunge. As you exhale, plant your left heel and inhale, come up warrior two, facing the other side. Bring your gaze over your right hand. Allow your right knee to traction over your second and third toes. And then turn the palms facing up. Inhale, straighten the front leg, draw your arms up overhead. Exhale, come back to warrior two. Arms come out to a T. And again, inhale. Exhaling. One more time, inhale. Float the arms up. Exhale, coming back to your warrior two. Turn the palms facing down. 
And as you exhale, bring your arms down facing and framing your front foot. Return to your lunge, take a breath in. And we step to the top of the mat. So you might like to rock back and then spring off the left foot and step a forward. Inhaling, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Shake it out a little. And inhale, come up through reverse swan dive, up into tall mountain. Exhale, hands to heart. So repeat that, inhale. Bring the arms up overhand. Exhale, bring the arms wide, bend your knees, pivot forward and fold. Relax your head. Inhaling, half lift, slide your hands to your shins. Exhale, stepping back with your left foot. Take a breath in, exhale, bring your left heel down. Inhale, come up, warrior two position. This time coming to reverse warrior. So reach your left hand to your back leg, pressing the leg firmly into your hand. Turn the right palm facing up. Inhale, draw your arm up overhead and a little back bend here. Inhale, come back into warrior two. Straighten through the front leg to come into triangle pose. Maybe a little micro bend in your right knee. Inhale, shift your rib cage. Exhale, lower your right hand onto the front of your shin. And just place your left hand on your left hip and draw your chest to the side. On an inhale, reach your left arm up to the sky. Maybe lift your gaze. You can always look down to the floor, pressing firmly into the knuckle of your right big toe, lifting the inner arch of your foot. And inhale, come back up, warrior two. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Pivot onto the ball of your left foot. Take a breath in. You can always lower your back knee for a moment. And then step it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward into plank. Exhale, lower the body down slowly. Release through the feet. Inhale, press up in cobra. So try not to hug your shoulders. So broaden through the chest, maybe lower a little. Exhale, soften. Press back into child pose. Inhale, coming all the way back up. Downward facing dog. And inhale, bring your left leg up to the sky. Three legged dog. You can always bring your right knee down. And then exhale, hug your knee in and step your left foot next to your left hand. Anchor the right heel down. Inhale, come up. Warrior two. Bring your gaze over your left fingers. Reach your right hand back, left palm up. Deep breath in, lift your arm up overhead. Exhale, leaning back a little, sink into the hips. Keep your balance. Inhale, come up, warrior two. Straighten the front leg and we transition into triangle. So breathing in, shift your rib cage, really reach through the fingertips and then bring your left hand onto the shin and just bring your right hand on your hip. If you feel that you're collapsing forward a little, take your right hand underneath your left rib cage, encourage it to come forward, and then reach your right arm up. Take a few breaths here. And then inhale, come up, warrior two. And then exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Return to your lunge. And we step up forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. And let yourself dangle here for a few breaths. You can bend your knees as much as you like. Or just holding on to each opposite elbow. And then walk your fingertips forward a little. Come onto the balls of your feet, squatting down. 
Coming into a balance, draw your hands to your heart space. Bring your gaze down. See if you can give yourself a beautiful smile here. And then reach your hands down behind you. Walking the hands back so you can sit and straighten the legs out to the top of the mat. Dorsiflex the feet so your toes and your knee are facing up, finding a beautiful tall spine. And then hug your right knee in towards your body. Drop your knee out to the side. We'll come into a forward fold. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. And exhale, come forward about halfway. Take a moment to pause. Sometimes we're in too much of a hurry to reach for our foot. So as you inhale, feel that length and lift through the front of your body. And then exhale, reach where you can. Maybe place your hands on either side of your leg. You can also hold on to the mat or find your foot and fold. On your next inhale, come all the way upright. Lift your arms up overhead. Exhale, hands come to your heart space. Return to straight legs. We do the other side, so hug your left knee in. Drop your knee out to the side. Keep your right foot dorsiflex. Deep breath in, lift the arms up overhead. Exhale, come forward halfway. Take a moment to pause. Take another deep breath in. And exhale. Releasing into your forward fold, relax your head. Try not to hug your shoulders to your ears, create lots of space. And then inhale, coming all the way back up. Exhale, draw your hands to your heart and straighten your left leg out to the top of the mat. Bring your feet in. Check that you have enough space to lie down on the mat behind you. We'll slowly lie down. Bring your hands behind your knees and imprint your spine vertebra by vertebra, lying down onto the mat. Slowly, your head is the last part to come down. And then give your knees a hug in towards your chest. You might like to circle your lower back and circle in the opposite direction. Now bring your feet back down onto the mat for a moment. Option to come into a lying down twist before you come into relaxation. So you can just bring your arms out onto the floor to shoulder height and then press both feet into the floor, lift your hips up of the mat and tuck your right hip under and roll your knees over to the side. Your head can stay neutral or you might like to pick up your head and turn towards the left hand side. Try to keep both your shoulders anchored down to the floor. And then engaging your abdominals, come back into the center, shift your hips back and then changing to the other side. So lift your hips up of the floor and then shift the left hip under, roll your knees over to the left and maybe pick up your head and turn your gaze toward your right hand. You might like to close your eyes, soften the whole back body down to the floor. And then inhale, come back into the center. Straighten through the hips, straighten your legs. You might like to stretch your arms up overhead. Give yourself a beautiful big body stretch. And then draw your hands to your heart space. Allow your arms to rest beside your body and legs splay out wide. And allow yourself to rest for a couple of minutes here soaking up the benefits from your practice today. And then once 
once you're ready, coming out of Shavasana, thank you for practicing with me today at the gallery. You might like to come back to this practice at any time. Namaste.